Which one of you is the culprit? Which one of you is taking out my frogs? Taking them down to Chinatown? No one wants to tell me, huh? All right, I'll be back. We'll investigate this further. Hello everybody, Grace still plays and we're back with more Taito Ecology. No time for BS, there's a couple of things that I have to tell you, very exciting stuff. I had been contacted by the developers of Taito Ecology, and so I've gotten a first-hand look at the downloadable content coming out. I can't talk too much about it. I'm just very, very happy with it. So I want you guys to look forward to that. It is going to be super cool. As I understand it, they're going to be releasing an announcement of it uh, Monday. Now, that should be coming up shortly here because of this video is probably being made before a Monday, technically. But that'll be coming out. We'll all get to know exactly what it involves. And you guys are really going to like it. It's, uh, it's really cool. So, with that as it is, since I can't really go too much into it, uh, I can just say I'm excited to get to check it out. I will talk instead about the biome that we have right now. Now, we've gotten pretty far around the biome. There's still some areas for us to fill in. Everything looks pretty good. Our biome percentage is at 96%. One of the things that we're going to want to do is make sure that time is sped up. Look at that. I did it before everything else this time. It's something Gray never does, but today I did. Put down some extra trees here. You can hear a couple of... Is this the capybaras? Yes, the capybaras are kind of running around squeakling and squaddling and whatever else they do. That really super high pitch little... Little, uh... I don't really know what to call it. I guess I'll just call it a squeak. I remember... The, oh, look at this guy right here. Are you taking a bite of these papayas? Oh, you sure are. Wow, the papayas are already down 11 leaves. Holy cow. Hey there, buddy. Man, I could hear you coming a mile away. Are you going to beat up the papaya too? Yes, you are. Apparently, everyone loves papaya. I'm going to have to put down way more than just one of these trees. Let's put down a couple of them lining the shore here. Actually, on this little tiny island, might want to put a couple out here as well. Can I get one out here? Actually... Let me try this more time. Let me see. Oh, apparently I can't. It just goes right onto the fish. That's interesting. Everyone, these two little, uh, nope. A couple of title coins there. These two little, um, little critters here are sleeping on this island. For some reason, though, I can't click on them. No big deal, though. 24 fish hanging out there. I think it was. Oh, 24 to replenish the fish. 38 fish, so they are getting eaten. Well, that's nice. At least they're being used. I mean, it's not good that they're getting eaten. I do feel bad for them. But I do appreciate that their sacrifice is going toward the animals that need not starve. Because uh, we don't want that to happen. Let's continue to put down some additional palm trees here. Actually, I want to put down all kinds of palm trees in this area. And I will throw down some pineapples as well. I've never really like looked super close at what these pineapples look like. I don't know. They just kind of look like cool flowering plants really. Now it's not pollinated so it's not fruiting. For that reason I do want to put down a pollinator. In fact let's go and put down I think the only pollinators that we have when we're in the rainforest like this is the blue morpho and the moth. So, I'll put down this blue morpho over here, and I'll probably put down one kind of in this area as well, right about there. Now, we're going to have to put down some additional trees and stuff. Perhaps, uh, uh, yeah, we'll throw down some earthworms over here as well. Nothing wrong with some earthworms. They care for a large area, and their detrius removal is pretty dang good. All things compared to... Oh, Canna Decomposers, thanks Earthworms for keeping the Detrius from wrecking the biome. <laughs> Alright! Canna Decomposers, well thank you for giving me that achievement. I really appreciate it. More with the Heliconias. And all kinds. All kinds of plants have to continue here. There we are. More of these zebra plants as well. They've got plenty of leaves for everyone. And some ferns also. Oh, the Amazon Flame Tree. Wouldn't want to forget you. You always do well for the various plants uh, in your surrounding areas. You look quite nice. And quite frankly, the marsh deer seem to love you guys as well. 
So I don't mind at all putting down some of these flame trees. Now I'm a little hesitant to put down predators right now. Wow, these orchids are really getting eaten. But uh, that's fine. I mean, uh, you know, we have still plenty of plants in this vicinity. We just have to keep moving though. We have to keep moving outward and using up our energy as best we can. Let's go ahead and continue with some ferns because these ferns do make up a majority of the rainforest and we wanna make sure that we have plenty of them to go around for everyone to enjoy. We've gotten, I'll say a bit of Taito coins. So I'd like to get down more Taito coins as well. A group of colored peccaries has low health. Well, that's too bad. Things are afoot in Greyburg. Let's buy some of these coins. Buy, or not coins, I should say. Let's buy some more energy. There we are. Now things are looking quite strapping and lovely. A couple of frogs would be nice. Put a few over here next to the water. A few over here next to the water. There we go. Along with ah, some of these guys right here. Let's go ahead and put down some agoutis. Because you can never have enough of those guys. And they still haven't taken over the world. I was partly afraid that one day they would multiply beyond our control, but that doesn't seem to happen. I do want some insects for these frogs, though, so let's throw down some ants. I'm pretty sure frogs eat ants. Put down some ants over here, too. Nothing wrong with plenty of ants, quite frankly. Where I'm at, there are plenty of ants. Probably to the point where they may be more pesty than you would think. Now we want to make sure that there's plenty of ferns for these tortoises because man, I remember these tortoises chewing on some ferns. More ferns than I had prepared for. Let's take a look at how they're doing. Are they moving with not expediousness? <laughs> they're kind of below the ground it looks like, oddly enough. A couple of them kind of swimming through the grass. Maybe it's just really tall grass though. Maybe that's what's happening here. Checking out the biodex real fast. The yellow-footed tortoises have a sharp beak that helps them tear off chunks of carrion. Oh, wow. Yellow-footed tortoises are herbivores, though they do scavenge from time to time. Roots, leaves, berries, and slow-moving insects are all part of the tortoise's diet. Okay, so it looks like they eat a little more than just plants and fruits. The plants on the tortoise's shell are called scoots. I think I'm saying that right. These tortoises are diurnal. Like most tortoises, they are very slow. It's hard to hustle with a giant house on your back. I never thought of it that way, but I guess you guys are right. <laughs> You've got, you're, you're carrying a little bit more than me when I, when I go jogging. So hats off to you tortoises. You guys are definitely making your, your money's worth. Or, I don't know. I guess you're just deserving of the insects and plants that I give to you, I'll say, since you're not exactly getting a paycheck, so to speak. Although, over here, in Taito Ecology, everything is pretty well taken care of. I mean, I'm not here to just starve animals and let them be sad, that's for darn sure. Put a couple more Kotamundis up over here. I don't think I can get them on this. Oh, I can get them on this island. Isn't that interesting? Let's put these guys right here. Maybe some marsh deer as well. What else do we have over here? Jaguars, cougars. Yeah, let's put more marsh deer down, I think. Those guys are pretty neat. Rather large, but I don't mind putting down enough ferns for these guys to get their meals worth. Put down one over here as well. Maybe I can actually get some population going. Is there anyone making any juveniles, I wonder? Let's take a look. How about in the capybara area? Nothing. How about some tapirs? No, no one reproducing. No tortoises. Ants are ants. They just do whatever they want. Same thing with moths. How about these guys over here? No reproduction as well. Cannot reproduce. Oh, because there's only one armadillo over there. Well, I could probably make some more armadillos if I wanted to. Let's give him another friend. Here you go, Armadillo. Now, get out of the way. Now you're not lonely anymore. Now there's a pack of Armadillos. They're all together. Let's take a look at what this says. One and one. That's all we have. Hmm. 
Now, I wonder if when you put down a territory, they can only reproduce inside of their own territory. 347 days until reproduction. That is quite a long reproduction cycle, actually. Be waiting for all kinds of time until that's done. More flame trees for the old front here. In fact, let's get some big trees down. We don't have anything taking up any space over here like some strangler figs might do. I'd like to get one on the island here just because I think every island needs a big powerful strangler fig by some extra energy. Keep those Taito coins being used. We got plenty of them, guys. I say don't let your Taito coins go to waste. If you have a bunch of Taito coins burning a hole in your pocket, don't be afraid to spend them. Especially because it just allows you to get to see more of the game a little bit faster. Especially since I want this rainforest to look appropriately packed like a rainforest should. So I'm going to liberally, liberally put down all of these strangler figs here. And ferns as well. I do want to make sure I have enough ferns surrounding these things. Because next thing is I'll probably buy a bit more, a bit more plants and animals. Uh, and put them down here because right now all we have over here is what like some earthworms We have a couple things over here. Actually. We have some of these agoutis and then some marsh deer So I guess we do have folks just kind of hanging around more plants though. We definitely do not have enough plants yet I need to buy more energy Keep keep that energy moving in fact in a little bit here We may be coming up upon some more title coins as well now remember, you get Taito coins each week that passes by, if I do remember correctly. And, I don't know, it seems like when you speed up time, a week passes in maybe 7 to 10 minutes of playtime. That's kind of just an educated guess. I'm not sure how realistic that is. But I can pretty much say that since we have started playing Taito Ecology, I usually see that little marker come up. Maybe at least once, maybe two times while we play. I haven't really counted exactly. Things are looking pretty good over here. Go back over these strangler figs and maybe put down a few more where I can find space for them, like right here. Nope, don't you change. There we go. I was going to say, don't, don't you change where I want to put down my strangler fig, dang it. There we are. Group of frogs, frogs has a low population. Where are you guys' low populations at? I thought you folks were pretty darn happy. Oh, here they are. Ah, they're probably getting eaten, actually. Let's take a look. Let's let's zoom in here and see if we can see any frogs that are in a fairly unhappy state. This frog is... Well, we have one frog, I think, that's dead, but one frog that's doing just fine. Yeah, this guy's hopping around quite fine, actually. And we've got at least two dead critters right by this ant mound. Who took out these frogs? I'm pretty sure the ants had nothing to do with it. That's kind of odd, quite frankly. There are all kinds of critters just sleeping around. No one wants to fess up to this. Which one of you is the culprit? Which one of you is taking out my frogs? Taking them down to Chinatown? No one wants to tell me, huh? All right, I'll be back. We'll investigate this further. Put down some more strangler figs over here. And I think I'll put down maybe a Kapok tree or two. There we go. That's looking quite nice. Actually, that's a perfect spot for it. Wow, that actually melds into the ground in a lovely, lovely way. In fact, I want to put something next to this. We need some regular, smaller plants next to this big old tree. What would look good? Some Heliconias? Those always look good. Oh, yeah, there we go. More orchids are nice. I'm pretty sure we have some pollinators over here. Probably our blue morphos. Can they reach this far? Oh yeah, I'm sure they can. Oh wow, just barely they can't. So right about here is another spot where we're going to want to put down a pollinator. Maybe we'll put down a moth this time. Yeah, let's put down a moth. There we are. That should do it. Now I wonder if we'll get to see our orchids pop up here in a little bit. Can't click on any of them. There we go. 165 days until pollination is needed. All right, well, I guess pollination is just, quite frankly, not needed. More armadillos over here. I'd like to see a couple of those folks. Now, I haven't really put down a lot of predators 
and I do want to do that. Let's go ahead and throw down some cougars on the outskirts. Ooh, in fact, you know what? I'm going to put them right on top of this hill. There we go. The best possible position to scope out the prey situation. This cougar already in hot pursuit to look at the water. I don't know what he's going for. I guess he's just going to hang out right now. Now, there's only two. And it looks like cougars, I assume, can eat tough creatures. Yes. This consumer can eat tough life forms. So, I'm guessing, what? The tortoise is a tough life form? Yes. This consumer is tough to eat as an adult. It can only be eaten by consumers with an eats tough buff. Who else is tough to eat, I wonder? Is he it? That would make sense. If he was really the only tough person. No one else has a shield just sitting on their backside. Yeah, that's pretty much just him. Let's put down some decomposers over here. Millipedes. Sure. There we are. A couple of millipedes. Seems like a good spot for him. Let's break down this. Zoom in a little bit and take a run through our area to see how everything looks here. Oh yeah, there we go. Things are looking quite nice. If we look up, what a canopy we're slowly developing here. More trees though. Eventually, if I can, if I have enough space for it, I want to get this canopy to the point where you look up and all you see is trees. Kind of like how it looks in the movies and stuff like that when you're in the rainforest, all those adventurers and stuff are in the rainforest and they look up and there's just like, you can't even see the sky. It's just like straight trees. Looking at the sky here, looks pretty beautiful right now. I guess this would be like a twilight. I don't know, maybe it's a daybreak or something. It's almost pastel though, looks so nice. I like this weird generator thing in the middle. One of the things I had mentioned and I guess it's something that they are discussing at points, is like when you put down a creature, maybe giving it an animation, like it's being structured, like molecularly structured into the environment. Because as I understand it, this is like the life button, and you're exchanging energy to create life, essentially. So, what's going on over here? What is this? What are you doing? You're not eating this coat of Monday, are you? No, you're just hanging around. That's weird. Oh, actually, there's there's very few plants over here. Let's throw down some plants real quick, because we do have some energy. A couple of ferns would be nice. There we go. Yeah, let's put some ferns down all over the place, actually. Oh, can't put any there. Can't, oh, oh, hey, hey, there we are. Yes, perfect place for some ferns. And another flame tree. Never want to let my energy just cap out. There we go. So, moving back through our little area here. What I was saying was you're exchanging energy. Wow, this is super. Look at all the stuff going on over here. What did you kill, Kodamundi? Oh, you killed a frog. Man, no wonder my frogs are getting taken out. You're exchanging energy for life, so it'd be cool if eventually there was a little animation for that. This fern is pollinated. I like how these ferns look now. All right, guys, we are getting pretty close to wrapping up this biome. Things are getting fairly close. And this cougar, with its sad meow, is on the hunt for something to eat. Hope you'll join me for the next episode of Title Ecology, guys. Till then, stay foxy and much love.